it's definitely beautiful as far as the entertainment. This is excellent right here. Exactly what he needs to do. Utilize those little keyholes to place that shot and he can see the target, but the target can't really see him. Now he's throwing rocks at these guys. You know, it's a bad day when you're throwing rocks at the enemy. Hey guys, remember me? Richard Minus here, three combat tours in Iraq. Back again, I wanna tell you guys thank you for all your comments, all the likes, all the views. I really appreciate it, but right now, let's get on with it. Sniper Elite V2, let's check it out. Wow, that's pretty intense. That was a great shot. I love how you follow the trace of the round and it impacted, you see exactly where it's impacting on the target there. One of the beautiful things about World War II is, well, it was not beautiful, but they had that urban warfare, which is very complex. It was a lot of snipers, and they were very effective in turning tides of the war. It's pretty incredible in the history of the snipers in World War II. Ooh, nice little quick shot. So he's popping quick rounds. You're not really gonna get a great shot with that amount of speed. The graphics and everything is incredible. I like how they do this speed shot, this trace of the round and you see how it's impacting. But that quick shot, that quick scope stuff is not really accurate in real life. Not gonna be that great with shot, but man, he's impressive. He's just laying them out. It's impacting, he's still reloading, acquiring his target and he's taking these shots. He's trying to lead the targets into the round. Now he's getting down, let's see what he's gonna do next. He's just pinned down at this point. The enemy's gonna know exactly where that fire is coming from because it's taking multiple shots from the same location. So they're gonna start pinning him down with some overwhelming firepower. They're just gonna keep his head down and they're gonna start moving onto his position there. So they would not just be standing still and becoming more targets. So as he's moving is a great thing, you shoot and move. That's the beauty you have as a sniper is keep moving, shoot, they don't have your position. And once you've taken a couple of rounds, you need to get out of that location Definitely like how he's using those mill dots to adjust pretty accurate because you're not going to be firing crosshairs all the time just because you're going to have multiple distances and ranges. So as he's shooting, he's moving. You don't want to be out in the open. That's one of the things this guy's going the wrong way. You need to stay to the sides, stay out of that open area because that is a danger right there. It gives away your position, puts you at a target from every direction. He switched his weapon, lighting these guys up. That's pretty accurate. He's going to clear a room. You're not going to clear it with a bolt action weapon. You're going to go in there with your secondary, then you're going to clear those rooms, and then you're going to keep it moving. I definitely like how he's switching weapons, says that's pretty accurate. But I don't think at that point he would take that shot with that bolt action at that close range. I would have just stayed with the automatic weapon. What's the point of keep switching your sidearm? When you're moving into those buildings, you need to have that secondary ready for anything. Definitely he's putting in some work, getting to a high vantage point, probably so he's going to take some more accurate shots. Clearing rooms, man. That's one of the things that he just got killed because he's just running into a room. You never just run into a room. You want to pie the corner. If you're by yourself, you're going to be pie in the corner. You're going to be peeking and around and seeing who's in there, maybe listen a little bit, but you never run right into the open like that into a room where you have no idea what's inside. And again, when you go into these rooms, you're sticking to the corners. Just like here, he's in an alleyway. He's going to stick to that wall take his shot and he's gonna keep moving, but you're gonna stay tight to that wall, stay low, and you're gonna move with speed and precision into the next building or objective. Once again, he's clearing, but he's moving way too fast. And you're going into these buildings, it's slow movement. I do like how he's moving up that stairwell. It's exactly what I would have done right there. You definitely gotta move slowly up those stairs. All right, let's see what he's got. Switching his weapon. What you gotta do sometimes, you know what I mean? It's, he's running out of ammo or you don't know what he's approaching. Take the weapon of your enemy and utilize that. It's one of the good things about training is you do qualify and train on multiple weapon systems to prepare you for combatants weapons so that you know how to utilize them. All right, nice. It is a beautiful rifle. The Russians sure know how to make a sniper rifle. One of the biggest things, he's taking shots, and that's an excellent shot, and I like that round impact. Thing is, he's never zeroed that weapon system. So for him to just pick up another sniper rifle and start utilizing it is really inaccurate because you would have to zero it to your sight. So for him to take that shot, but entertainment value is excellent. 
it's pretty intense. I like those impacts. I like how it goes in slow motion so you can really see the uh, destruction of your round. He's moving quickly, taking quick shots. Once again, you're not gonna be taking quick shots and you're not gonna be running across roads. Those are danger areas. You wanna stick to the walls, stay low, and move fast when you're out in the open. You wanna move slowly from point to point just so you can get cover, reassess, and then move again. Once again, this is a game, it's entertainment, it's great. But at the end of the day, this is your life. You're gambling with your life. So that moment of just running into a road could be the last moment of your life. So take time, think about it, and move with tactical ability. This is excellent right here. Exactly what he needs to do. Utilize those little keyholes to place that shot. Loopholes, what we call them. So he's kind of backed up and he could see the target, but the target can't really see him. And even if he could, he just knows that general direction. Chances are he's not gonna get hit because he's got cover all around. I thought he was gonna keep it moving, building the building, but staying low. Oh, he's gonna blow the bridge, nice. So he's setting up, he's gonna take out a bridge. A sniper wouldn't be doing that if it's special operations or not. You have multiple team members that their job has a specific thing to do. So he's a sniper, he's clearing targets, he's watching from afar and he's moving and doing what he needs to do. But in this mission, you would have a team member. You know, there is no lone wolf when it comes to combat. You definitely have a team that are experts in the field, especially when it comes to explosives. They're really intricate. His life would have been over right there at that point, just jumping into something. Take your time, guys. Take your time. Move slowly. Move with that precision. Take cover. All right, so he just got lit up. Now he's throwing rocks at these guys. You know, it's a bad day when you're starting to throw rocks at the enemy. Think safety. You know, this is your life you're gambling with. Entertainment value, go in there, rush in there, light them up all you want. Definitely make sure you have the right weapon systems before you jump into a hostile building like that. Stick to that wall, man. Don't be running into buildings. Clear those rooms first. Ooh, nice. He's handling his own pretty well right there, though. You got an enemy all around you. At that point, you gotta just run out of there. You just gotta keep it moving. Get away, quick. All right, once again, he's just running. And now you pulled out that bolt action. Maintain that automatic weapon. Keep that in there while you're clearing rooms. You don't know who's behind which hallway, door, stairwell. And you're, you're not gonna be taking that rifle into a building and shooting somebody on the stairwell. The impacts are good. They're definitely entertainment value. It's a great game. I mean, honestly, the graphics alone, the movements, uh, everything, it looks like an, <laughs> an outstanding game. And World War II, who doesn't love World War II, man? I've read so much on it. I mean, you have every type of fight in World War II, from jungle to taking islands to urban combat. I mean, World War II had it all. That's intense, I really, that looked pretty good. You're not gonna be setting off an explosive with a round fire through that, but yeah, that was a pretty high impact on that bridge, just took it out. One of the biggest things, you know, during this time is that sabotage is huge when a bigger force is, is huger than you. Destroying those infrastructures so that you stop the enemy's ability to move, you know, move their logistics because they're only as powerful with the amount of logistics and keeping that train running as far as ammo, fuel, artillery, and, and heavy equipment. You gotta move those down roads, cross bridges and stuff. So when that enemy overwhelms you, you utilize sabotage. That's one of the biggest things that rebels do when they're fighting greater forces. They're gonna take out your infrastructure. They're gonna break you down, slow your movement, slow those reinforcements. So you hit them from the rear because attacking them from the front, you're just gonna become another number, another deceased. One of the biggest things in Iraq, we were always watching roads. They were really good at setting up roadside bombs, which was doing considerable amount of damage. So when we would get multiple roadside bombs in a certain area, we would then conduct an overwatch, watch these roads at night. And once you see those targets planting roadside bombs, you shoot one guy, that's all you need. Because that one guy that gets shot, his buddy's watching him get shot. Now the enemy's thinking like, who's watching this road? And now they're gonna lie low for a while and it's gonna buy you some time to keep moving on on that road safely. Ooh, that guy had no idea. And a lot of times when you're taking these shots on these guys, they have no idea what took them out. What direction, nothing. They're just lights out. Ooh, and that's the shot you don't want right there. That's gonna be a painful death for him. He's gonna bleed out. He's gonna be squirming around there for a while. 
You never want to be right up on a window. You're never on a window. You want to be at a distance inside that building because you want to allow the layers to blur you out, so to speak, the shadows to help conceal you. The farther you're back, the harder it is for somebody to look inside that building, deep inside that building, and see exactly where you're at. But if you're right up on that window, clearly they're going to see you right on that window. They're going to know your position. So step back. You want to utilize angles. You want to utilize things that are in front and, and have them overlap so you create these little loopholes where you can see the enemy but they can't even see you because there's just so many layers so stay away from those windows get a vantage point get an angle on that window and take your time take your time there's no rush as a sniper you're moving slowly you're moving slowly you're observing more than you're shooting that's for sure Ooh, nice beautiful definitely beautiful as far as the entertainment the game it's excellent shot Notice that the guy's far deep into the window. Now, if he was right on the window, he'd have been an easy target. But that guy's utilizing that angle. Just a little piece he's utilizing. So he makes it harder for him to acquire that target. That guy up in the window knows what he's doing. They got the angles on him. So he's got to take his time. He's got to move close. At that point, if there's a guy in that window, I would have moved along the wall of that building and just started clearing that. Why make yourself a target and go into his sector of fire? You take him into your sector of fire. Great mission, guys. Great mission. Hey, guys, we just finished watching Sniper Elite V2. Gotta say, the graphics, the tactics, and x-ray shots were amazing. Really interested in checking that out for myself. For more videos like this, be sure to check out Gameology on YouTube and Facebook. Nah, <laughs> all right all right let's all right we'll see how it goes <laughs> so i'll just leave it at that <laughs>